Come in, come in, please. Good come afternoon, in, please. Ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sit down, Mr. Vinay Kumar. Please sit down. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Vinay Kumar, you are from Madhya Pradesh, Hamirpur. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Good. And you are basically a B.Tech engineer, civil yes, engineer. Yes, sir. And you are preparing for civil service examination for the last three, four years. Yes, sir. Good. So. And your subject is sociology. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Hmm? Good. So this much information is available about you. Tell us more about yourself. Why do you want to choose civil service as a career? Uh, sir, my name is Vinay Kumar. Mm -hmm. I am from Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. Yes. I have done my graduation in civil engineering. Yes. From an IIT Hamirpur. Mm -hmm. Post graduation in environmental engineering from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh. My hobby is playing badminton and weight training at gym. Sir, I want to join civil services because I feel that civil services is a platform which provides uh, a person the dynamic opportunities to work and uh, it also provides a bigger opportunity to uh, exercise the leadership skills and uh, I feel that civil services will take my all capacities and capabilities. Mm, good. So do you think these all these attribution which you have mentioned are they available in any other profession or not? Sir, various other professions are there, uh, which provides many opportunities. But I think that the diversity that civil services has uh, is not present in uh, other professions. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, Himachal uh, and your area, particularly Hamirpur, yes. is the, uh, what they call it, the, uh, the, the based on the apple. Uh, uh, crops and its economy based on uh, apple crops and apple. Am I correct? Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, Himachal Pradesh economy is based upon apple, but my district in my district there is no production of apple. Okay. As what is your district is uh, famous for in terms of economic activity, industry activity? Sir, uh, my district is famous as education hub. Okay. There are many educational institutions which are present. For example, there is NIT Hamirpur. And there are prominent schools which has performed well in the Himachal Pradesh Board of School Education and has a reputation uh, in such a way that people from other districts, uh, the students from other districts also visit uh, and study in my district. Uh, so that is a peculiar advantage that Hamirpur has. So apart from education, other in terms of industry, any cottage industry, small industry, household industry or, or something like that or big industry? Sir, Hamirpur is also famous for its furniture industry. Uh -huh. uh, there is a, There are different factories, uh, there are different companies which are working in Hamirpur. And uh, people from across the Himachal Pradesh uh, used to buy the products from there because of its cheaper rates, uh, depending upon the logistics. You must have heard recently about this uh, incident happened with Trakhan. Yes. There some labors were trapped in a tunnel. Yes, and they remain there for a number of days. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, so there's a lot of criticism in terms of uh, pressure on hills, in terms of uh, it's, uh, what they call it, uh, topographical misuse of hills yes, and uh, geological misuses of the hill. Yes, Are these things happening in Himachal also? Uh, sir, in Himachal Pradesh, various projects are going on, uh, which uh, used to disturb the uh, ecological ecological environment of uh, Himachal Pradesh as such. Uh, but then uh, before continuing that project, proper environment impact assessment is done. I am asking this question. Yes, sir. I let me very specific to you. Recently, I read it that Supreme Court has cleared a Himachal development plan. Yes. A Shimla development plan. Some, yes, sir. Something like that. Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, Himachal Pradesh has formulated a Shimla development plan policy. Uh, which is aimed at developing the Shimla uh, district and particularly the area, the town in the Shimla uh, in, in a better manner, in an efficient better manner. manner fine, sir. Well, what is that? What are the issues involved which has to be addressed to and what are the remedies that are being suggested in the development plan? Okay, it's fine. Yes. What you are saying is fine. But I am interested to know what are the issues involved and what are the remedies suggested? Uh, sir, way out suggested. Yes, sir. 
sir as far as i remember a uh, national green tribunal has raised some issues yes. regarding the uh, development plan yes. that was proposed it was uh, because of the what was the planned construction what was the specific uh, green national green tribunal what were what were their objection to the plan uh, sir they have said that we should not uh, have you read it or you are making a guess first of all let me know sir i have read, read it, it. But, but very but, good but uh, one year back so i as far as i remember there was a restriction on the number of uh, floors that we can have and uh, there was also a restriction on uh, any further construction in the main core area of uh, shimla town uh, so this much as far i can remember as of now sir but this two only thing no construction and no nothing like that Uh, sorry sir i will read about it again no, you must read more about it okay, and sir. what is supreme court why supreme court said is the plan is okay now sir ruling a tribunal uh sir himachal pradesh in uh, supreme court has said that this plan is going to make shimla more better and uh, develop uh, but not compromising the ecology of the shimla district and uh, based upon that what are the ecological issues of shimla district okay if you are mentioning that yes, let sir. me know what are the ecological issues of shimla district and how this plan will make it more better in terms of ecology say i tell you say say i give you one specific sector you can concentrate on that the transport so there was a with respect to transport there there is a prevalent parking problem in uh, shimla district because of overpopulation and lack of capacity that shimla town has now because of the influx of lot of tourists also uh, every year and because of that uh, there has been haphazard construction that has carried out uh, it has crossed it we be any specific example of uh, haphazard construction any specific damage caused because of haphazard construction and and as you said tourists coming tourists are your main stay for your income yes sir you are you welcome tourists that is the main stay of your income apart yes, from sir. apple uh so i your means much as income yes i remember a landslide that has happened uh, in the previous year uh, itself in shimla district uh, in um, the area near mashobra Uh, which has resulted, yes sir which has resulted into the uh, killing of uh, uh, i exactly don't remember the figure but it's uh, 10 to 14 people uh, which were uh, doing worship which were worshiping in the uh, temple uh, so that was the recent uh, incident that i remember uh, mm. that has so happened. you are saying about a tourist coming and vehicles coming yes, how sir. can you one can cut it suppose you are giving in charge of the department of tourism yes, in himachal pradesh yes, and the transport how can you balance the tourists and your development tourist in flow of tourists and this transport issues yes sir and vis a vis ecology which he has concerned about ecology and topography of the area yes sir sir as a in charge of the department several steps could be taken the first step is the compulsory registration by the tourist when they are coming to the shimla uh, this will help us in limiting the number of the tourists according to the capacity that we can have uh, depending upon the resources we have in the shimla what is fine all these statements are fine yes so I mean, suppose you can you say only x number of tourists can come not more than that can you say that today only 100 tourists will come or 1000 tourists come not more than that so uh, that should be based on a quantifiable research uh, and survey that uh, we, beforehand we should carry out that in order to carry on carry out that survey okay survey you have done the survey then what survey tells you something yes sir have done what will you do so what suppose whatever you presume yes, survey sir. tells you presume something survey tells you something and say and, and reply to that so for example the availability of the water so uh, we have 135 liter per capita per day the availability of the water uh, what can we lift in uh, one day and make the make the shimla people available uh, depends upon uh the number of tourists will depend upon that number uh, for example sir okay thank you dr sangeeta okay. yes ma'am let's talk about g20 i consider it as a successful uh, venture of government of india yes. and there we decided that instead of holding all conferences and summits uh, agendas in one particular city like delhi we have you know tried to take it to other cities so that the other cities also can be highlighted yes sir what were the cities which uh, himachal pradesh got to hold the g20 events 
इन हिमाचल प्रदेश में जी ट्वेंटी हैजन इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट कांगड़ा एंड देर वी हैव प्रोमोटेड आर कल्चर एंड शो केस इट टू द नंबर ऑफ डिग्नेटरीज दैट हैव कम इन द जी ट्वेंटी समिट एंड ट्राई टू प्रमोट द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट वी आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन हिमाचल प्रदेश टेल मी वाई कांगड़ा वॉज चोजन वॉट आर द यूनिक फीचर्स ऑफ कांगड़ा मैम कांगड़ा has a mix of the population it has uh, very good developed areas like uh, dharmshala is the capital of uh, uh, one of the capital of uh, himachal pradesh which is located in kangra itself and it is also a smart city uh, and uh, moreover the population of the kangra is uh, also um, in, among the other districts is very high uh, so we have different type of uh, people that are inhabiting that area and that's why we have what product did you showcase there uh ma'am all the various products that have gi tags from himachal pradesh for example can you can you name some uh, yes ma'am uh for example uh, we have kullu shawl we have uh, chamba uh, rumal we hmm. have lahol and spiti chappal hmm. and then we have uh, uh chulli oil uh sir we have chuk from chamba and these are some of the products that not i not the kangra paintings Kangra School of Paintings are also yes, very famous. Yes, I have forgotten that one. Right. Of course, that is. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the criteria to you know for a smart city? There is a parameter. Yes. So there are parameters that you have to have this, this, this in a smart city. What are the parameters? Can you name them for me? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I am unable to recall that. But there has to be a parameter to become a smart city. Yes, or we earmark that this city would be a spell, smart city yes, then there are few parameters which should be fulfilled yes, we have to match that yes ma'am ma'am uh, as far as i remember hmm. in a smart city we should have uh, the technology adva- technological advancement and uh, development in in bel- in balance with the environment sustainable sustainable right yes, now uh, i was just reading yesterday that Uh, for the seventh consecutive year, Indore has been named as the cleanest city, yes, and the second number is Surat. I don't see any city of Himachal Pradesh there. Uh, so, you, you, uh, how do we see that? Um, Though you don't figure in the worst cities, but still, mm-hmm. why uh, the good stories of Indore? It's a very simple phenomena. Yes, ma'am. why it has not been replicated in himachal pradesh any reason from himachal pradesh specifically we have started solid waste management particularly for which indore has been uh, granted that uh, tag that that also is a criteria for a smart city yes ma'am solid waste management is the one of the major criteria right. sewage treatment uh, right ma'am we have to uh, do more about it ma'am uh, only our municipal areas has been covered Hmm. uh and that too not on a very expanded scale right For- i am very impressed by the literacy rate of himachal pradesh yes ma'am however women folk are not in the mainstream of jobs what could be the reason most of them are educated yes ma'am uh ma'am uh, i have read somewhere that uh, Himachal Pradesh has the highest uh, second highest female labor force participation rate. Labor force participation is highest? Second highest ma'am second after Sikkim. High... After Sikkim? Yes ma'am. Okay. So what kind of jobs they are doing there? Uh ma'am uh, right from the primary sector uh, they are involved in agriculture activities. Uh in Most the... of the rural women are involved in agriculture activities, isn't it? maximum number of women mm-hmm. but then there are uh, self help groups that are also flourishing in himachal pradesh tell me more about self help groups in himachal pradesh uh, ma'am uh, exact figure i do not remember i am not asking about the figure yes, the ma'am. work done by them yes ma'am any remarkable achievement ma'am uh, they are uh, entering into dona making uh, and mm. uh, patal making uh, thing oh, works and what are the commercial prospects for them Um, no at the end of the day yes ma'am you know you must earn money yes ma'am to contribute yes, to the gdp right yes ma'am so what what is the uh, commercial prospects ma'am uh, the products that they are manufacturing right now uh, block development officers have started promoting that uh, by providing the vending machines to them uh, but still not on a very large scale that has been done right And, yes ma'am. right now 
let me talk to you about you know the PLI scheme of government of India. Yes. How do you rate it? You know now it has to, some years have gone by the impact yes, it has created. Yes, ma'am. Uh, production link incentive scheme of the government of India, uh, mm. which uh, provides an incentive to the industries. That's all right. I'm only asking about the impact it has created. Any impact we have felt about that? Uh, which are the sectors? One sector you can take, for example, whether they have we have been able to, you know, expedite the growth trajectory of that sector. I'm in the uh, semiconductor manufacturing. Huh. Uh, India is now, because of the production linked incentive scheme, attracting a lot of uh, investments. Uh, for example, a company Vedanta is also looking for investment into India uh, because of the opportunities that are provided through production linked That's incentive That's the old scheme. story. Tell me the current one. Which company is now, you know, in the mainstream? I'm sorry. Do, I... do, no problems. You can update yourself. Read about Vibrant Gujarat and see what is happening in that ecosystem yes, of semiconductors. Yes, no problems. Now let's talk about another scheme which I uh, am very optimistic about. That's green hydrogen. Why we call it green? Yes, ma'am. And how do you see the prospects? You know how fast we can you know go to switch over to hydrogen vehicles and things like that in a, on a on a daily basis. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, green hydrogen uh, is called as a green because of the use of the re uh, renewable sources of energy for the production of the hydrogen. Right. Uh, and but, ma'am, there are certain concerns with respect to green hydrogen. As what the, are the concerns? Just name it. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, the cost is very high. Transportation cost. We will is work on that. We yes, will reduce the cost of uh, the whole process of electrolysis. To keep it in the liquid form, ma'am, we need to compress it to a very low temperatures. That also is possible. Uh, um, it is also very much inflammable. Huh. Uh, all all these three factors, we need to take care of that. And yes, the concerns have to be addressed. Yes, Besides that, it will be a very cheap source of energy if we can take care of all these three. Yes, and also, you know, we, our dependence on crude oil would drastically reduce. Only recently I was reading in the newspaper that we have found some uh, sources of crude oil in India. Are you aware? Sorry, ma'am. In, I'm in which basin? ONGC has found something. Or... Oh, sorry, ma'am. I have to read about it. On the, some 24 new, you know, wells and all that they have discovered. Okay. If time permits, then tell me one more thing. You know, when we see the we, earlier total focus of the Indian Stock Exchange and the market was on the foreign in, FIIs. Yes, right. Now, FIIs have not been penetrating India in the last one year, if I see. Yes, uh, the penetration is not from that side because they have high interest rate in US. They don't yes, want to uh, come this side. Yes, so still, the share market is rising. Yes, Every day, it is creating a new record yes, of the, the new high, new records. So what could be the reason? Uh, Ma'am, Exactly, I don't know, but I can make a guess if you permit. Do me. that, ma'am. Because of the uh, COVID-19 lockdown that has China has recently carried out, a lot of investments from China has shifted to the Indian market because of the cheap labor also that is present in Indian market, and a lot of opportunities with the schemes like uh, single window uh, clearance, uh, production linked incentive scheme. Uh, you have misplaced my question. Mm -hmm. My uh, my question is. In spite of not having FII's contribution now yes, for this particular year, to, yes, let's take 2023, yes, still we have done very well for ourselves. What could be the reason? Ma'am, it could investment, be Investment uh, in terms of investment in the stock exchange, yes, buying equity from that particular domain. Ma it could be the growth of the domestic companies uh, because of the schemes like Self Reliance India. Domestic companies are doing well, maybe they are doing well, but then the retail investors, instead of being savers, now they are quite attracted towards investing in the equities and the mutual funds. That would do. Right. Again, I'm making huh? a guess. Huh? Uh, I'm not sure about it. Uh, Ma'am, uh, the reason for the lot of investments could be 
the aware, uh, increase in awareness among the yes, people. Yes, NSC is doing many courses now. Yes. They have opened an academy and explored. But then it is happening. Yes, sir. The mind paradigm mindset, mindset of the individual's uh, savers has changed. Thank yes. you. Thank you. You have taken sociology as optional. Yes, sir. Tell me some uh, sociologists from India. Uh, sir, there are many sociologists like uh, G.S. Guria is there, M.N. Shirinivas is there. Uh, these are some of the sociologists. Uh, we have A.R. Desai and these are some of the sociologists I can think of right now. So, uh, what is your opinion about the caste system in India? Who have explained it better, Guria or Andre Bete? Uh, sir, uh, in my perspective, uh, Andre Bethel has uh, presented the caste system in India uh, much better as compared to G.S. Gurie, uh, with due respect to him. Uh, sir, G.S. Gurie has not carried out any kind of field study. Uh, be, that was uh, one, one of the loophole in his uh, work that he has carried out on caste system. And he has also take, uh, reviewed the caste system through the lens of uh, uh, Brahmanism. Uh, that was one of the another criticism uh, that was uh, uh, against the G.S. Kuria's work. What about the Sanskritization theory of uh, Srinivas, M.N. Srinivas? Sir, Sanskritization theory of M.N. Srinivas uh, has proved uh, because of the examples uh, and the field study that he has carried out. Uh, he has shown that how in Karnataka uh, Lingayats have raised because of Sanskritization. And uh, similarly, many people like uh, Yadavs in uh, Uttar Pradesh, and that also resembles the present situation. So, Sanskritization also provides a hope to the uh, lower caste people in order to move up the strata. What are the counter examples which contradict it in real life? To I mean, many sociologists said, uh, counter mandated the theory of Sanskritization. So, which state are counter example for this? Uh, sir, it has been said that today uh, Sanskritization is not on the rise. It is desensitization because of the opportunities that upper uh, caste people are looking for the lower caste uh, uh, that are provided to the lower caste. Uh, so, that is one criticism that comes in front of the Sanskritization theory. <coughs> And second, sir, Sanskritization has not been there uh, in other many of the caste uh, which are in the scheduled caste. Uh, the people who are already in the backward classes, uh, not very socially deprived, uh, has moved up the strata. So that is another criticism that comes in front of Sanskritization. What is the percentage of scheduled caste in Himachal Pradesh? Say, uh, approximately it is 25 percent. So what is the region? That despite such a demography, 25 percent, uh, not any scheduled caste person has uh, able to become chief minister of Himachal Pradesh. Yes, sir. So what because, may be reason? Yes, sir. So because uh, sir, the reservation has resulted into the economic upliftment, education upliftment, but still there is social backwardness that prevails. Uh, is there any political reservation in the legislative assembly of HP or not? Yes, sir. So why uh, it has not? consolidated or realized into uh, political form. So the main reason... What may be the reason? Yes, sir. So the main reason is the social backwardness only. Uh, only 17 uh, MLAs are from the... So do you task. think that uh, political reservation, the tool of reservation has failed to uh, deliver the result it was expected to? Uh, sir, uh, the political reservation has not resulted into the elimination of casteism, but it has uh, particularly helped the economic, helped the scheduled caste people to rise in the economic level. In the What is the specific reasons yes, for uh, deprivation of political empowerment in the HP as contrast to Punjab? Punjab, there are many dominant uh, scheduled caste leaders, but there are no dominant or prominent uh, leaders in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, though it was part of Punjab only, Himachal Pradesh. Yes. Sir, I'm not very sure, but uh, that could be because of the lack of awareness among the people uh, that they have not raised the voice and they have internalized the caste system. 
at what is the biggest uh, scheduled cast in uh, Himachal Pradesh population wise? Uh, so the exact figure I do not remember. I'm sorry. I will read about it, sir. Uh, tell me about uh, uh, structural engineering. Okay, what is the role of structural engineering in infrastructure development? So structural in India, in particular yes. reference to India. Yes, sir. So structural engineering is the branch of uh, civil engineering which deals with the uh, design, operation, and maintenance of the structure, civil structures. For example, uh, bridges, buildings, uh, etc. Which is the best bridge in India according to uh, uh, a structural engineering uh, criteria? Best bridge. There are many bridges recently uh, made or earlier. So, uh, in my point of view, the recent bridge that has been uh, connecting Mumbai and Navi Mumbai, uh, that is Atal Setu. Uh, that has been a marvel in terms of civil engineering because it is the longest sea bridge that has been constructed so far in India. So according to you, length is the criteria. Yes. 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 Engineer, yes. give a technical response. Sir, uh, because there is a huge pressure of the sea waves also. Which is the longest bridge on river in India? Longest bridge on bridge, uh, river made on river, erected on river in India. Sir, I'm not sure about it, sir. Uh, railway engineering is part of civil engineering. Yes, sir. To tell me how curvature yes, sir. for banking of the railways is achieved. Which type of curve they use? Parabola, circular, which type of curve they use for curvature in railway? Sir, I do not remember exactly. I have to read about it, sir. At a, what is use of uh, blast in yes, a track? Sir. Yes, sir. What is the use of blast in a track? Sir, uh, blast provides the support to the railway tracks. It is the foundation uh, on which the railway track is laid. Uh, it is used to distribute the loads. That Then what is use of sleepers? Sir, uh, the vertical loads that fall on the railway tracks are distributed uniformly via the sleepers yeah. on the blast. So, sleeper is supporting the load. So, what is the role of uh, blast? Sleeper is there to support the load. Sir, because ultimately uh, at the base it is the... Why the ride on a train is smoother than a uh, vehicle on road? What makes it more smoother? There is less jerking. Sir, uh, it may be because of the shock absorption by the foundation. I'm not very sure about it, sir. I have to read about it. So why do we have mentioned, though we have achieved 8.81, yes. we have mentioned your DF as a path, not as a first division. 8.81 is first division. Yes, sir. So in your uh, detailed application form 1, you have mentioned pass, not first division. Sir, uh, I I I'm uh, sorry, sir. I have not noticed it. You uh, have filled your form without without <laughs> applying yourself or not? What he is saying is it has any logic? You have scored eight point eight on the scale of ten. Ten, yes, sir. So, what percentage should be? What division should be? It should be in first division. First division, or whatever. So, why you have written pass? Is it correct or not? So you said applied or not applied to this thing? So. Um, Sir, I do not remember exactly. Achha. It yes, may be sir. by mistake, but maybe a genuine or, or something serious thing. That is the In point. Inadvertent. Mm. Inadvertent or mistake. Mm. So be careful while filling any form, mm. or particular government form or UPSC mm. forms, etc. Such so small thing can uh, harm you. Okay, so I will take care of it. What would be ideal weight for a person with 5 feet 6 inch uh, tall? You are uh, into weight uh, training in gym. So what should be ideal weight, the range of the ideal weight for a person who is 5 feet 6 in tall? So it will depend upon the body mass index of that person and the daily activity that he carries out. Uh, based upon That's that... I am asking the range. So exactly, I do not remember. It must be near about 70 kgs. Mm, what is the dimension of a badminton court? International, for international game. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, for uh, 
the men's double or women's double uh, the dimensions of the court is uh, 44 feet in length and 20 feet in width but for a singles court it is uh, same in the length 44 feet but 17 feet in the width can you uh, give me chronology of grand slams which happen first and which happens later grand slam uh, sorry sir i have to read about it okay <coughs> Vinay, yes, uh, have you heard about Ambedkar? Yes, sir. And and then you Gramsci? No, sir. Have you heard about Gramsci? Sorry, sir. Italian I... philosopher, or Italian Marxist. Uh, no, sir. I have who not talked heard. about hegemony. No, sir. I have not heard about it. Achha, have you heard about Ambedkar? Yes, sir. Can you tell me uh, his idea or um, or contribution in Indian sociology? Sir, with respect to the caste system, uh, Ambedkar has contributed in the sense that he has provided a way to remove the caste system and which is a social barrier uh, present in India. So he has asked for the annihilation of the complete annihilation of the caste and uh, he has provided the solution like uh, switching to different religions, uh, avoiding the Hinduism, uh, which is the root cause of the caste system. So he has suggested to switch the religion, right? Yes, sir. And what other suggestion he had provided in annihilation of caste? Have you read annihilation of caste, his text? Yes, sir. What uh, suggestions he provides? What is the major things that current caste system perpetuates? Uh, sir, I do not remember exactly, but okay, yes. Fine. Fine. Uh, if you see Himachal Pradesh, it has a least urbanization. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Is it uh, good or <coughs> it led, It has some disadvantages? Yes, sir. Sir, urbanization brings a lot of opportunities in terms of uh, economic, uh, but Himachal Pradesh has uh, performed well uh, even the urbanization is very less in Himachal Pradesh. This is because uh, uh, in Himachal Pradesh, there was a strengthening of the rural economy that has happened. And uh, uh, because of the strengthening of the rural, rural economy, there has been a lot of job opportunities that has developed in Himachal Pradesh rural areas itself. Uh, for example, the agriculture market. So in, in Himachal Pradesh, the primary sector that is agriculture sector performs better as compared to rest of the India and most of the population is uh, in the agriculture sector itself uh, and that's the yes. uh, have you heard about uh, max weber yes sir he had written a book called the city have you heard of the, the book uh, no sir i am not Achha, he had written a book the protestant protestant ethics and the spirit of capitalism yes sir yes what argument he had provided in that book Sir, he has, uh, Max Weber, being an interpretative sociologist, he has said that uh, the rise of the capitalism is not only because of the economic reasons, but there are religious reasons also, which are responsible for it. Uh, there was a spirit of uh, capitalism that lies in the Western Europe uh, because of the development of uh, different uh, religious sects like uh, Protestant Protestantism. Uh, and uh, because of the uh, protestant ethics, right? Protest, protestant what is ethics. that pro protestant ethics? So the protestant ethics talks about considering that every person is a uh, elect of the God and uh, if everyone will strive for and work hard and will strive for growth, then uh, one will come to know that uh, who is the elect of the God by knowing that who actually succeeds in his endeavors. Max Weber is also, you know, a grand theorist of power and authority. Yes, sir. That what he talks about power? Sir, he talks about, uh, so he says that power, uh, power is something which is different from authority in a way that it, it does not have a legal backing. And moreover, he talks about uh, different types of uh, authorities, uh, like traditionally, historically, there was a traditional authority which prevails. Mm. Uh, there, there was a charismatic uh, authority also. And uh, presently, we have a legal rational authority. Uh, that is prevailing. Fine. Have you heard about uh, Stephen Lukes? Yes, I have heard. He had written a book called Power, A Radical View. Have sir, you heard about that? Sorry, sir. I do not remember it right Fine. now. Fine. Uh, you know, uh, you must have heard about 
Russia Ukraine war that is going on from last two years, right? Yes, sir. What is the India's position on Ukraine Russia war? Yes, sir. Sir, India has uh, called for upholding the United Nations principles and uh, it has uh, walked a tightrope between uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. Uh, in, it has called for the immediate uh, humanitarian ceasefire uh, in order to uh, stop the violence that is being committed against the civilians. Okay. Um, if you see the social stratification, you must have heard about it. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the social stratification in Britain? Uh, sir, can you re please repeat? Can you tell me the social stratification in Britain? Mm. What sir, kind of social stratification Britain has? Sir, in Britain, uh, mainly the social stratification is on the basis of wealth. Uh, that is a class-based stratification. The wealth or region? Yes, sir. The wealth or region? Uh, sir, I can only remember what the Okay, fine. fine. Uh, you must have heard about Nari Sakti Vandan Adhinium that provides 33% yes, reservation to women. Yes, sir. How it would lead to women empowerment? So, 33% reservation uh, mm. to the women will mm. help in increasing the representation of the women in the uh, state assemblies as well as in the Lok Sabha. And because of the increased representations, uh, the policies that are framed by, framed for the women, for the cause of women, will be uh, well discussed uh, before being enacted. And there will be, uh, there definitely be... Uh, do you, have you heard about uh, world gender gap? Yes, I have heard about it. Yeah, what is the India's place in that world gender gap? Sir, as far as I can remember, it is uh, more than 100. Okay, where do women lack? Where does women lack basically? Yes, sir. Sir, in India uh, and around the world. In which also, sector? Political sector or economic sector or educational attainment yes, or health and, you know, health sector. Where women lack more, most? Uh, Let me give you four options, right? Yes, sir. Health sector, political empowerment, economic opportunity, right? And educational attainment, where women lacks most. So it will be difficult to choose one. Mm. Uh, I think they're, they're, the woman has lacked in all the sectors that you have mentioned. Fine, but I'm using the word most. Sir, exact, I do not remember. Yes. It's economic opportunity. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, it's done from my side, sir. <clears throat> Fair enough. Vinay Kumar ji, we have done with you in terms of interview. Yes. And now time to give you some feedback. Yes. All of us must observe certain point to convey to you. Uh, I'll start that uh, your confidence level is quite good. Your present personality, a very good personality. You carry a good personality. Your body language is good. But she must have pitched back in the order. So okay, it's sir. quite soft. Okay, sir. If you can have pitched louder, it will be better. In yes, terms sir. of communicating your point of view. Uh, certain areas, to my mind, require more knowledge. You must know more about it. Yes, sir. Most of the questions which you have, you must have realized yourself. Sometimes you are not able to give a proper answer, a good answer, a correct answer. Yes, sir. Okay. Particularly your civil engineering area. Yes. Sir. Which is your subject. Your, 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 though you have opted sociology, but civil engineering is a poor subject. Yes. Sir. People can ask about it. About it. Uh, your hobby, badminton, and things like that. Yes, sir. Grants, uh, things we ask about it. But when you say something is your hobby, you yes. must know everything over that. You can't ignore to say, can't afford to say, I don't know. Right, sir. So, uh, unless you have not. I mean, if you have not given it hobby, so something is hobby, I must have a little bit of passion, no, everything about that. Okay, sir. Uh, similarly, when you are talking about uh, certain answer, my observation is that uh, you must support your answer with specific examples or statistical data. Okay, sir. I will say that it's a G20, my mask, you said to promote culture. Yes. The Kangla district or the now oh, you must be a specific culture thing and a specific point it as he pointed out to you. Okay, sir. That, that's, that's very important. Okay, sir. Uh, you have to give examples. 
हिमाचल परिषद इन्फॉर्मेशन जो जनरली इज गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन बट दैट प्लान विच वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हिमाचल प्रदेश प्लान सो आई थिंक द कंजेशन द प्रेशर ऑफ द सिटी द कंजेशन इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इशू डी कंजेशन इज द बिगेस्ट इशू ऑफ द अपार्ट फ्रॉम ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड टूरिस्ट एंड थिंग लाइक दैट कंजेशन इज बिग इशू सो दिस इज फ्रॉम माई साइड आई फील दैट इफ इफ यू डू यू हैव अ टाइम फॉर यू इंटरव्यू जी सर Uh, sir it has not come up in the first ah, so you have sufficient time to prepare yes, uh, i think you can still do more <coughs> and score much better yes and perform better okay, uh, you have scope to do learning more and you can perform better mm, uh, your uh, preparation should be concentrate on areas which are your weak areas yes sir. and prepare questions on that prepare prepare areas on that yes, uh, best source for quick learning is websites of those, those areas on 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 internet on on google etc you can find out information subject like that right, whatever sir. subject you want to know right sir. and uh, current event you can uh, concentrate on uh, sansa tv which is very good tv nowadays in terms of current events and discussions uh, if you and uh, are you station in delhi or you are a station in uh, sir i am presently working in uh, HP government. So I'm working in HP government. Yes, sir. As process engineer in Jal Shakti. Process engineer in Jal Shakti Vibhag. Ah, but it's not mentioned here, dear. Sir, I have mentioned it in the. Mentioned, so I must have missed it. Are you working somewhere? Sir, in have... the DAF one, it has been. Mentioned. DAF two. Sir, uh, DAF two doesn't have the specific space for. DAF one. DAF one has. Ah, sir. Okay, I must have missed it. You're working there, so you where are you posted? Sir, I am posted in Hamirpur. Hamirpur, sir. Hamirpur. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Hamir, you must know much more about Hamirpur. About yes, uh, everything about Hamirpur, your, your development, your uh, of the Hamirpur, etc. So that's all from my side. Unless anybody, my colleague, want to say add anything, may I ask you something? Keep reading one of the economic papers, maybe Economic Times or whatever, yeah. okay. because so much is happening, and by the time you go for the interview, too much or more on the what on account and other things will be in the news. Yes, ma'am. And every day we are, you know, talking about semiconductors. Many of the states are having their. The global summits. Just vibrant Gujarat. If you read, if you had read the paper, then you would have answered all that. So it is better that yes. we keep ourselves abreast of what is happening in the con- country's economic domain. Right. So one economic paper will. Don't read the whole newspaper. Just read the editorial or the front page. Okay. That will also help. Okay. Besides reading Indian Express, you know, I consider that these two papers are quite good. And give you a. very clear picture of things yes, why sir. red sea has become a big um, problem for india because mm. our cost of export has increased so much yes, so sir. much so much so that it will become a it will not remain a commercially viable thing for india now us and uk they are attack, they have already attacked and it was going on till the morning so yes, air sir. attacks so you have to if you don't read the economic aspect why a war happens there is a lot of economics happening behind that yes, geopolitical is there but so if you read and consistently it will make you a better person also even if interview or no interview wherever you are working it will be helpful right, right? Thank all you, sir. the best you have a very good personal jo aapne puchna hai well you want to ask anything no sir thank you sir. thank you this time you have to make it thank, thank you all the thank best you, thank, thank you sir thank you sir good luck